The forestry tours were first held back in 1963. They've been doing it for 56 years in this county, one of the few counties in the state that are still operating this tour. About 750 students are taking part this year. Students learn how to stay safe and how to prepare for a trip to the woods. Make sure you have everything and that everything works. Other learning stations focus on wildlife and tree identification. We learned about soils, of like what they're made of and like what's uh, in the soil and stuff. So like uh, some of them, so there's some clay in it and uh, like some sand. I really like walking through the woods. So I think it's really fun to do this and learning about the trees and the soils, like fun too. Ron Loveness began teaching kids about forest products 53 years ago. He uses trees with blue and pink ribbons to help demonstrate forest growth. And when those kids are my age, that tree with the pink ribbon will be as big as the one with the blue ribbon. That helps them understand that things grow. The presenters say they get as much out of it as the kids. And to see them appreciate this environment uh, is very satisfying. And the students have something exciting to share with their parents. Probably that I was um, kind of on TV like this. Near Kino, Lyle Ahrens, NBC2 News. Awesome. So, how does that work? How's the water cycle work? Yeah. Um, melts, and then we can start planting. Then we have to finish before.